Convex spherical mirrors are made from a section of a ball that is silvered on the surface. The rays are made to spread outwards after reflection, getting further apart. We call that diverging. They can never cross to form a real image, so the image formed in a convex mirror is always the same way up as the object, virtual in nature and diminished in size. The nomenclature used in this vid clip is the same as used in Curved Mirrors 1. Therefore, if you are unsure of the terms, I suggest you watch that vid clip first. Constructing a ray diagram for a convex mirror. We use three rays to pinpoint the image on the diagram, just as we did with the concave mirror. First, we draw an incident ray that is travelling parallel to the principal axis before it hits the mirror. It reflects in such a way that it appears to be coming from the virtual focal point, the one on the far side of the mirror. Draw a solid line from the object point to the mirror. Make it travel parallel to the principal axis now put an arrow on the line to make it an incident ray. Remember, a line without an arrow is not a ray, but an optical boundary. To draw the reflected ray, you have to position your ruler on the principal focus on the far side of the mirror, and also on the point where the ray hits the mirror. You then have to draw a dashed line from the virtual focus point to the mirror edge, and then a solid line for the reflected ray that is coming away from the mirror. The second ray we draw aims at the virtual centre of curvature of the mirror, the centre of the sphere the mirror was cut from. It is reflected back along its own path because it hits the mirror normally along the normal at 90 degrees, giving an angle of incidence of zero and therefore an angle of reflection of zero. Put your ruler on the object point and at C, or 2F, on the far side of the mirror. Draw a dashed line from C to the mirror and then a solid line to represent the ray that gets reflected back along its own path. At GCSE, the construction of these two rays is enough to get you all of the marks. The point where the two construction rays cross is the virtual image point. You draw the virtual image as a dashed arrow If you want to double check that you have constructed the diagram accurately, you can add the third ray, although I wouldn't recommend that in the GCSE examination. It may well show up your drawing skills. A ray that aims at the virtual focal point as it goes towards the mirror will be reflected back along a path that is parallel to the principal axis. Put your ruler on the object point and the far focal point. Draw a solid line to represent the incident ray from the object point to the mirror and then a dotted line to the virtual focus. Now draw a reflected ray that goes from the point your incident ray hit the mirror parallel to the principal axis. Continue that with a dashed line on the far side of the mirror. All three construction lines should cross at the same point to give you the image point location. 
you should now be able to tackle any questions that require you to construct an optical diagram of a curved mirror. I hope that was helpful. Bye for now.